And once again, I apologize for all of the dust and mold on top of here. I haven't lived here in years and my hot water heater blew up while I wasn't living here. So everything has some mildew on it. So this book I made in memory of my best friend Jocko and my friend Matt who died April 13th, 2006. And they were part of the inspiration for my youth camp. So there's the obituary, but um, Jocko and was 43, Matt was 28, and Jocko left behind Riley that was four years old and Mitchell that was two and a lovely wife, Amy, and Matt was engaged and hadn't had any children yet. And Jocko was the chief of police and Matt was a police reservist and a lieutenant on, actually I think he might have been the captain of the fire department at such a young age and Matt was working on his masters and was wanting to go through the police academy to become a police officer. So they were killed in a helicopter crash and it was a duty related helicopter crash. There's Jocko the chief giving a big salute as he always did walking around town. He was always seen walking around town, um, very, very community oriented, would walk instead of riding in a car often. And anyways, they um, were chasing down a fleeing felon who had run from a motor carrier officer employed by the Michigan State Police. And my fellow comrades were setting up a perimeter and Jocko, Riley Scott Sumner, and Matt Tuttle um, flew in Matt Tuttle's helicopter and they were locating the suspect and letting all of the officers on the ground know uh, where the suspect was. And fortunately, here's my friend Steve Jascott who was working on the fire department then with Matt Tuttle. Um, they, their vehicle, their helicopter had a little bit of water in the tank and they were flying too low to have the helicopter auto rotate. So they crashed about one story above tree line in front of all of my other fellow friends and coworkers and comrades in arms. So unfortunately, um, they were both laid to rest in Chelsea and it was a sad day, but it inspired me to have Angels Among Us Youth Camp. I just started that after this, after driving home from their funeral because I wanted to do something for children who had lost a parent and other children who were suffering. So that's where I got the inspiration while losing my best friend and another very close friend.